What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What is up everybody? Welcome to part two with this modern, uh, or excuse me, Mardu. Uh, humans deck. This one is very, very sweet. If you missed the uh, part one video, please do check that out. I go and uh, kind of talk through the deck more in detail, talk about some of the new cards that we're seeing. Uh, this one is just going to be the, the final three games, so we'll see how we do. We had pretty good luck with it in the first video, so I'm excited to see how we do this time around as well. Uh, and it looks like this is a pretty good keep. Um, we do not have great mana for the Stormfist Crusader. That is kind of my only thing. This does come into play tapped, but we've got an easy one, two maybe, uh, and then three we can we can kind of see where we need to go from there. So let's do that. I'm going to shock this in just to give myself the untapped Castle Ardenvale later, uh, as well as the red mana that we need. So we will see how we do. Uh, this list is really cool, though, I will say. It looks like we're up against the Demir kind of flash deck. Uh, yeah, definitely the Demir flash deck. Um, this is a very, very sweet list, though. I'm going to get this Tryland out now. Uh, that way we do have our black for the general as well as the Stormfist Crusader. Both of those very, very key cards. Um, now we are going to run into the issue of a counter. Um... So, how do we want to do this? Let's run this out first. See if they counter this. Yep, quench it, okay. Definitely an expected quench, that makes a lot of sense. Judith, quite good. Uh, let's see. Let's move to attacks first. Um, okay. I'm actually going to keep this playing very slowly right now. Uh, solely because we want to leave quench mana up whenever we play anything. Uh, very interesting. They could have flashed this out and... I'm sure killed what we've got, but that's okay. Kind of just want them to uh, to run out of cards in hand at the moment. So they're, they're down to three. I think this is going to be as good a time as any to at least try for one of these lords. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Fervent champion, huh? Let's go for the general. Uh, against this deck, the general really isn't all that insane. Um, it's certainly not, I mean, obviously it's not a bad card, but it's not, um, you know, the the crazy, it's not removing anything crazy from the graveyard or anything like that, so. Let's get the quench out of there. I am all too happy to swing in with both of these. Glad we left up Quench Mana, just on the off chance. Um, this flash deck is actually the first one that we played with uh, Akoria cards out. Very, very good, good deck. Uh, one that I'm very impressed by. Uh, if you've not played with it yet, I highly suggest it. I, it does take quite a bit of rare slots, uh, so do be aware of that, but it is just so, so good. Let's get this out there. If they've got the counter, they've got it. We're, we're gonna run into it either way. Um, looks like they do. Okay. We do have to be pretty conscious of our life total here, so next turn, depending on what we draw, I may just not attack. 
Uh, unfortunately, I hate to do that when we are the aggressive deck, but it's not much we can do at this point. Uh, we'll get the land out there. Guessing they have a counter. Yep. That Voracious Great Shark is very, very powerful for sure. I do think we just end up losing this due to value, right? If they just have two creatures to flash out, then they just win. Yep. Love this deck. Absolutely love this deck. Yep, well done. Good game by the opponent. Uh, unfortunately, they were able to stabilize, uh, so we could not finish them off. But that's okay. Uh, you 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 try some stuff out and you see how it goes. Uh, this Mardu list is very very powerful in my opinion. Um, I don't think we misplayed so much there. In fact, if anything, I think it was a good idea to hold on to uh, those lords and not just play them out straight away. Uh, just so we don't run into that quench. Uh, that that quench can be very very bad for us. So. I uh, think we did the right thing there. I just think they, they outpaced us. So, going into game two. Feeling pretty good. Interesting hand. This is a case where... Like, we keep this. This is obviously not going to be playable in our hand for a little while. Unless we draw a black land or a red land. But everything else is, it's just a bit weird because of this try land. Um, and we do, I think, lead on that. It just kind of sucks to have to. We, yeah, yeah, let's lead on that. Very possible we're up against the same kind of deck uh, again. But this is going to be a counter free turn as they do not have a second untapped land. Uh, I found that to be a very common issue with that deck is that uh, if you don't have, or if you, you open up your hand and you've got like two temple of deceits, obviously you've got your mana fixing, but it's a turn late. Uh, and that kind of feels a little bad, I will say. I'm going to play this out. And I'm going to play this. I'm kind of just baiting them. I kind of just want them to, to try and counter some stuff. I'm going to go for it. Playing out all the stuff. Here they could flash out something and kill the hero, I'm sure. Or the Fervent Champion. Yep. They're just going to eat... Oh, they're not. They could have just eaten the Fervent Champion. I'm not really sure why they didn't do that, but that's okay. Kind of hoping for a land here, and there's the land. Okay, so let's try something. I'm gonna do this first. I think it was right not to put the land out quite yet, um, but I, I certainly could be wrong. There we go. Got the win. Uh, thankfully, we were able to really, really spread our board out there. Uh, and you can see in that instance, them them having those Temple of Deceits, I think, really set them back. Now, they may not have had a very counter-heavy hand as well. Uh, and I do think you kind of, in the first few turns, need to lean on those counters pretty heavily with that deck. Uh, but you can see how, how having tapped lands really does kind of set you back a little bit. And that, I mean, even in our hand, we had the exact same problem with the Tri-Land, where... You know, if that was a, a Sacred Foundry or or a, uh, a Godless Shrine, we would have been able to turn one, our Vulnerable, vulnerable Knight, turn two, really anything, uh, and that would have been a much better way to go, but obviously we couldn't, so. 
Here we've got a nice one, two, three as well. Uh, very, very strong hand. It looks like interesting. Each player puts top four cards. Up. This is Reanimator. It looks like that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go for it here. Temple of Deceit. So I'm just hoping we can outpace this deck, essentially. I don't know how fast this deck is. Um, I know that people have been, have been playing with this, but I have not yet seen it. Uh, so this is a bit of a first for me. Let's get this out there. This feels very like the Rakdos Knights deck, obviously. It's very similar in a lot of ways, and even in a lot of the cards. Um, however, this has a lot more like over-the-top ability, I think. Uh, here, yeah, I think they take the Judith, but we've still got a good play with Tajik here, so I'm kind of okay with that. Not to mention we're drawing two cards per turn. Let's play out the one they know about. Let's play this out. A lot of damage coming through, so really they need to answer the board this turn. Gotta keep in mind, that's turn three. They are down to seven. Um, it looks like they're spending their turn removing one of the threats, which obviously is not going to uh, long-term do a whole lot. I mean, that's pretty good, too. Let's play this out. Let's play this out. And this should just be win. Yep. Quick, quick games, guys. That was a less than 12 minute video that we were able to get uh, at least two wins with this deck. This one is very, very good. I, I have pretty high hopes for this Mardu Humans list. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you've got a deck list in mind, uh, specifically for the Mardu Humans, please uh, make sure you share it down below. Uh, we're interested in actually playing any and all deck lists that are submitted to us, so if you do have anything uh, we'll we'll do our best to try and find a, uh, a time and a place to record it for you and we can get it up uh, We really do appreciate the support though guys. You guys have been watching a lot of videos lately We're trying to get a lot out for you uh, and we certainly do appreciate it It's it's really really nice to get uh, the viewership that we're hoping to get as well as you know Just some nice comments and some nice support from the community. So thank you all seriously very very much uh, And we we hope to see you again very very soon for some more gameplay Make sure to subscribe if you are not already. Thanks a lot, guys. I will see you in the next gameplay video.